Hi folks! Thanks for joining us on this video. If you're new here, I'm Willie. And I'm Sarah. We're a musician and artist and we recently sold our suburban home and moved to a tiny nearly 200 year old cottage on the Isle of Skye in the Scottish Highlands with our dog, Jack Spaniels. This week it's back to work, refurbishing our stone buyout. And for the first time, it's just the two of us building, although our friend Richard does pop by briefly to help out with the new window and door. Plus, we take you along as we climb the Queen of Scottish Mountains and Jack Spaniels makes a new friend. Join us as we continue. Live in the sky life. One of the things that we like to do is climb mountains. Now we've climbed all the Munros in this area, but we haven't climbed the Corbett Ben Loyal, so we're gonna do that now, aren't we? Yep. I think it's known as the, the Queen of Scottish Mountains. It is, yes. Yeah. I don't know what the king is. Maybe Ben Nevis. Probably. We haven't climbed a lot of mountains recently. We haven't had any time to do it on no. sky, so we're a bit out of practice. We're hoping our legs are going to make it up to the top. We'll be fine. We used to do it all the time. Yeah. We've just been building all the time now. Yeah, let's have a break, climb a mountain. Should be fun. Let's do this. Woo! Well, that big one behind us is Ben Loyal. We're going up there. We're going up there. Up the end, ben. Just saw this by this fence. It's, uh, it's actually rocket. Getting your salad, it's wild rocket and it's nice and young. So it tastes really nice and peppery on it. Give it a go. Mm, yeah, unmistakably rocket. Just met a friendly farmer and he said that there's no sheep on the path just north of the gate. So that's really cool. Jack can come off his lead, no problem. Actually, Jack has trained when he sees a sheep to freeze and then wait to be put on his lead, which took me a long time and perseverance to get right. I'm very proud of him for that. Anyway, there are sheep around this area, so Jack is on his lead and we get off and there are no sheep. And now we know from the farmer that there are none just up there. Just hit a wave of coconut. Oh wow, that's intense. Might have to have some more of that rum tonight. Maybe. You can take the spaniel to water. He's done making drink. You want some water? Luke, water. It's so stunning today. The landscape here is pretty different to the Western Highlands and Skye because it's not all really mountainous and rugged. There's lots of sort of low plains and moorland. And then these craggy mountains just sort of rise up out of that flat land. They look really epic. So it just looks like something out of Lord of the Rings, which is my favorite book. I love it. I think that's the gate the farmer was talking about. So beyond that gate, freedom for the Spaniel. Right, Jack, are you ready? Freedom for the Spaniel. He's free, go! Oh. Was that it? You really made the most of that freedom, Jack. Hiya! Come on then, let's go.
racetrack. Well, we have started to climb and now we're starting to get a bit of a breeze, which is nice because oh, nice. it is warm. <laughs> this is the first peak, but this isn't actually the summit of Ben Loyal. The summit is further back that way. So once we get up to the top, I think we've got a little walk along a, a ridge. A ridge, nice. White yeah, ridges. so hopefully it'll stay clear and we'll get some nice views. A little froggy. It's not going to hop away because it's frozen because it thinks I'm going to predate it. I'm not going to predate you, but my dog may stand on you, which is why he's now in his lead. Little froglet. <laughs> The great thing about this route is that uh, water all the way up so far. So Jack can cool down and drink water. It looks like it's absolutely boiling, but it's actually only about 16 degrees today. So it's not too hot for him. He's fine, as long as he gets plenty of water, which he is. Hey pups. The summit is starting to cloud over, which isn't ideal. Fingers crossed for a clear top. What you found, Jack? What's that? Looks like a wreckage of a plane. I'll have to look into that. Hey Jack. And that is part of a plane crash from 1943. I think only one person survived the crash as well. So that's a bit of a poignant place then. That's a really sad story, I didn't know about that. Just found more of the plane. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. from the half-finished fire. We've been sort of away from doing this, but we've come back to it now, and it's really exciting. It's all coming together really well. We had such a full-on time with you doing the shed, and then mm. Ian here for a week, that we just needed a little bit of time to get back to our normal routines. This is the first time we'll be working on this project, just the two of us. So we've got no Richard, we've got no Ian. They've been helping us out and they were amazing, but now it's time for us two to work together. To so roll up our... Oh, uh, oh, uh, flawed. We can do this. We're a little bit scared because we're both novices, but hopefully we know enough of what we're doing now to finish the project. Let's just see if we can do it. And if not, well, we'll ruin it and it'll be funny. <laughs> hey Jack, you look real cool. Yeah, man. You gonna go and listen to some blues tonight? Maybe a little bit of sweet jazz? You got soul spaniel, all right. We've had a delivery. Our double glazing window and door. Richard's not available to help me put it in at the moment, so I'm going to carry on the buyer until he is. That's not a job I can do myself. Never done it before, I'm not risking it. I'm out in the buyer and there's a few bits I could be getting on with before we put the window and door in. The first thing I want to do is this insulation here needs to go in. And I'm going to do some of the plasterboard as well. So yeah, let's do that. One down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to go. <laughs> nice. And then you'll have a partition wall. Dun, da, da, da. Moment of truth, folks. This has been cut before, so it's not a completely straight edge, you can see. Ah. If I had been a perfectly straight edge, that would have gone in. Uh -huh, I see. It's past you's fault. Past me is very silly. As is present me and future me. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> Couldn't have done it any better myself. Are you alright, Jack? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Jack! What have you got, Pops? What have you got, Monkey? Have you been stealing bits of insulation? You're not meant to eat that, remember? You can have the sticks, but not the insulation. Come on, get your stick. Where's your sticks? Good boy. Off you go. 
Okay, so small confession here, we set a time lapse running and it wasn't filming. Oops, my bad. What I was going to show in the time lapse is the situation we've got here. Now, all these roofing joists, they're all higgledy piggledy. When the person that built this uh, barn roof put it up, he thought it was just going to be used as a barn. He didn't know it was going to get converted into a workspace. The person, I won't, I won't say who built the original roof, <coughs> Richard. <coughs> Anyway, so what we're having to do now is sort of unhiggledy piggledy the beams and we're having to put in this webbing all the way around so that it can support the plasterboard. Because there's only two of us doing it, we're having to put the plasterboard up in small pieces because if there's three people, you can have two people holding it, one person screwing it up. It's just me holding it up and Sarah putting the screws into it. So far, we've put this up by ourselves and we're going to put another piece up just behind Sarah here. And that will be the whole ceiling of my section of this. Let me just point out, we know how wonky that is. The whole building is wonky. Yeah. It's just what you get. <laughs> yeah, the, the building, every single line is on the wonk. It's a very old building anyway, but it just means that we now have to go around and sort of try and correct it enough to get plasterboard up. And it's a lot of hard work. It's fun. It's interesting. It can be frustrating, to be honest, but we're getting there. The original building of the cottage as well. None of the lines in there are straight. No. If you try and hang a picture up, it's only going to fit one line straight and then everything else looks shonky. So yeah. we kind of knew that would happen, but it's the character of the building coming through. Absolutely. and That's no what we tell people anyway. <laughs> character for, yes. The cottage is, is like that, but this room is even more so. But you know, this is a cattle buyer. This is for holding livestock. It didn't have to be straight. The wall on this side literally goes straight for about the first three metres. And then after that, it just goes way out of that, <laughs> a big bow. We're not denying that we probably aren't the most skilled of labourers and a professional probably could have corrected all of those faults a lot better than we Far did easier. but it's all part and parcel it's going to be our build so we're enjoying it it's going to be a bit wonky <laughs> After our holiday last week, it was straight back to work for both of us. I was busy printing and packaging orders from my Etsy store while Willie got on with work in the buyer. I also had a few extra prints to do for my Sky stockists, as well as packaging up a new product, note cards featuring my paintings. As you can see, my studio is pretty cramped now with all of my painting, printing and packaging materials. I can't wait until the buyer is finished and I have a larger studio space to work with. very indecisive these cows.
It is Tuesday. It is a glorious day on the Isle of Skye and I think we're going to get this all week. I've just come to Broadford to get our weekly shop delivery from Asda and I'm also going to be paying a visit to the Coffee Bothy, which is a lovely little cafe in Broadford and I'm going to be taking in some prints and some cards. I do the prints at home myself but the cards I get printed here on Skye at a place called Strathprint so I am using a local business which was really important to us when we moved here as well to use local businesses. So I've been packing up all the prints and all the cards and I I have got them in a box here and we're gonna go pay a visit to the coffee buffy and we're gonna make friends we're gonna make friends with the coffee buffy pup there's another spaniel at the coffee buffy so we're gonna go say hi to them drop off some mine stock and get some food shopping and hopefully have a lovely day Coffee Bothy is such a friendly cafe and their cakes are amazing, so we highly recommend a visit if you're on Skye. Andrew and Richard, who own it, also moved up to Skye from Fife, as well as having a super cute spaniel, so we feel a bit of an affinity with them. I'm excited to now have four stockists for my prints and cards on Sky. Cafe Cool in the post office in Carbost, and Made on Sky and the Coffee Bothy in Broadford. Thank you to everyone who's supported me by buying a print or cards from any of these locations, or from my Etsy store. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, near the summit. First summit. First summit. I'll go up there now. You're in the peat bog, buddy. Always finds the muddy puddles. If you get stuck, I'm not coming in to get you. He knows that's not true. You don't want to go around it. Of course he doesn't. Has to go Sorry. through it. And another one. Lovely. Lush. Oh, stinky pup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, this is just you. Perfectly you.
genuinely just looks like something out of a film set. These rock formations are awesome. The clouds coming in, which we knew would happen. So we're probably going to stop now. But we're going to do the whole ridge, but the other side is completely enshrouded in cloud now. We're happy we got the clear view that we got. Jack, we're going to have some lunch now. Lunch biscuit. Lunch with a view. And a spaniel. Do you want a biscuit? Right, sit down please. Paw. I might regret this, he's just been in all the muddy puddles, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Oh well. High five. Gentle. Ah. Gentle. Good boy. These biscuits were from Jack's patrons. He's very grateful. Okay, you can have one more. <laughs> That's the content you wanted to see today, right? inside Jack's mouth. On our way back down we just found more of the plane. I do wonder if this is the impact site because it's such a hollow into the ground. Yeah. We've just come down from that yonder hill up there and we've just spotted over there a little cottage so we're going to go and check that out. We like abandoned cottages, we do. Let's go and have a look. like some of this roof has come in quite recently. Look at the boards on the roof, that's cool. The ceiling boards, beautiful. There's a bird's nest in there, better not disturb that if it's active. Oh, it's creepy. Yeah, it is a bit. Wow, it's very... Oh, we have a noise. Is that sheep poo? Maybe deer. On the steps though, how the heck did they get up there? Let's peek around the corner. Wow, it's like a big aga type thing. That's cool. Wow. That is especially quite scary. I don't particularly want the ceiling coming down on me. I'm definitely not going up those steps. It's very cool to look at the wear on those steps. Amazing. How steep they are. Love the wood though. Love that colour. Look at that green. Beautiful. Right, I'm out here. Come on then, Jack, let's get back to the car. Eh? Today is the day we finally put the window and door in, double glazing, which is really going to make a big difference in this place. Yeah, we're really looking forward to having these in because then we know the amount of light that's going to come in. There's nothing quite like natural light, so it'd be nice yeah. of you to have your little window and your view out to yeah, the other side. Yeah, it's, it's not massive, but I'm not painting. Sarah needed more light than I did, so she's getting the big window at the front and a combination of this natural looking light. Whereas me in here, I'm probably going to have it like this. Lava lamps around the door. Lava lamps through. and groovy, man. <laughs> 
We'll keep your your door open as well, and then you get the view out to the sea loch. It'll be open most of the time, unless I'm making a racket on the drum kit. That'll only be after I'm finished for the day. <laughs> is it too late to go in the shed? <laughs> this is the window of the bio just now. So that's coming out, and so is the door. And we're gonna extend at the top there as well. So it's gonna be taller than that, so I can walk in and out without having a duck. Oh, and there's Jack. Look at this, this frame here. We're starting again. Hey Jack, building a new door. Then Richard arrived, and it was time to rip out the old window. Window out. Hey. Oh, look at that, it's a Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives in there? Do you keep expecting a mink to come out or something? Whoa. With the old window out, it was time to fit the new one. And as I said, it's not something I've ever done, so Richard was doing the bulk of the work here. Whilst I was in charge of giving double thumbs up. So this stone here is a problem because the door's going to open this way and this is going to get in the way. Luckily, like most of the stones here, it's loose. So I can just take it out and put it back. Well, actually I won't put it back, I'll put other ones back in its place. Richard once again taking his life into his hands. On my Aldi Kessel table. <laughs> Richard is using his circular saw here to cut the metal roofing sheet to accommodate the new taller door. With that job done, it was time to fit the door itself. Richard is drilling holes into the stone, then using long masonry screws to secure it in place. Yesterday we put in the new window and door, and here's the proof. Today I've got to do all the repointing with concrete. In here there's a great big gap. I'm going to use this wood to shut it off, and then I'm going to fill that with concrete. I'll have a nice level platform for putting the construction for the frame, which will eventually have plasterboard inside it. So yeah, I'm going to do that first, and also I'm going to build up the wall that's at the front of the buyer. So I've got quite a lot to do, so let's get on. Something that I've learned in the last few months is if you don't use gloves when you're working with concrete, it really burns your hands, it really dries them out. So what I'm doing today, I'm going to try wearing marigold gloves. Hopefully that'll stop it from happening and I'll look cool. What I've got to do is get the concrete right down in here. There are lots of gaps and I want to fill them. So first thing I want to do is take this away. I know what it's going to look like when it goes back now. Take this off. Take off the main one. And now, prickly little shuttle, get it in. Right, nicely done. Now, I can build this up again. I've already put this part here because there's a gap there, obviously, so I wanted to close that. 
Yeah, it's something along those lines anyway. Now, I'm going to have my little step, which is what I want. I'm going to open the window to get the handle out of the way. And I'm going to pour my concrete in there. And it really is wet, and that's why. I'll clean that up a bit, and that's it. Now comes the job of building these walls up here. I'm going to have to build them right up to this joist here that we put in yesterday. It's going to take a while, but let's get it done. Much happier with that. There is no wall where there was space. All filled up. Very nice. But that's only one side. Still got to do this side. Let's get on with it. So I finished the tops of the walls up there. This was all cracked and rough and there was no, there was a gap as well. Um, so what I've done is just skimmed down the side. But anyway, it's done um, and it looks great. And so I'll smooth that out as best as I can get it now. And it's got the plastic protector over it, so I'll just be able to pull that off. Happy days. Sarah has signed it WS and J, which is really cute. But what I've noticed now is that this side looks great. And this side looks terrible, so I've got to do that as well. More jobs for Willie, more jobs for Willie, more jobs for Willie, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we are. Got it in there. Really difficult though, and I made a right mess of the door. I've cleaned it a bit, but I will get that off when it's dry. It's going to be easier to get it off when that's set. I've got most of it off, but... Uh, if I go into that, I'm just going to damage the work that I've done, so I don't want to do that. I'm just going to leave it and then I'll clean it properly once it's dry. And now my last job of the day is to expand in foam right around the outside. Whatever the concrete doesn't touch, I'm going to fill it with foam. All that fell down, but I'll just get that when it's dry, it's no problem. But honestly, that looks pretty good. If there's any more, I'll put more in. Looks good to me though. Stealing my job, guys. Stealing my job. Helping. You knew that's my favorite part. Much better. Okay, so next day, the next job is to take away this shutter. So hopefully this will all be just a flat face along here. But let's get the shutter and all this construction out of there. Moment of truth. Put your wedge in. We have movement, folks. Have that nice push there anyway. There we go, look at that, that's great. Now, there is a bit of spill under here. I'm not bothered about that, it doesn't matter because this is all getting covered over anyway. And now I can build on top of here. I could put my pieces of wood, this is just an example, in there like this. I can build out to here and that will be the frame for the back wall, which is what I'm going to be building today. The whole back wall, hopefully. As always folks thank you so much for watching our video we really hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave us a like a comment or subscribe to our channel if you don't already it's free to do and it's really cool because it helps us out it does massively help the channel as i've said before it helps the algorithms it really does help the channel if you haven't subscribed please go for it
If you want to contribute to the running costs of the channel, you can do so over on Ko-fi. You can give us a donation there, which buys us a coffee, buys a treat for Jack, or just helps us pay for things like petrol and stuff that we use up while filming. And if you want to contribute monthly, you can do that over on Patreon. Thank you so much to our patrons and anyone that supports this channel. If you're not able to get to Sky to shop for one of my prints, you can also get those on Etsy. So if you do want to check that out, we'll put the Etsy store link in the video description below. below along with all the other pages. Thanks again for watching and we will see you ba -ba -la 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 next week. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving our suburban life Moving over the sea to sky Are we chasing a dream? I guess in time we will see When we're living the sky life Living the sky We're yeah, gonna, we're, gonna... we're gonna go and climb up the Queen. And the cuckoo just started up and has stopped again because we've started filming. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. The leaves get it off. Wanna try? Okay. I don't like peppery leaves so much. It's a little bit peppery. I don't mind rocket, but I like it on a pizza or something. No, not, not just by itself. It's, too, it's probably too peppery just by itself, but I'll be like <laughs> Midges have landed! I just did this, but it probably won't work now I'm on camera. <laughs> See? Jack doesn't like it. Alright, I'm done now. No, don't eat the grass. What happened? I, uh, I took the Jack route. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, maybe that was too far. Oh, we were right. Uh, we were where? Where, 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 where? Where, where, where? Where, where, where? I'm in two minds as to whether I want this to fit or not. We're all about the entertainment, you see. <laughs> no one likes people to be successful on the internet. That's not true. <laughs> Viewers, is that true? Do you want us to succeed? Answer in the comments. <laughs> Eternal optimist. <laughs> Whatever you do, you're not allowed to say the word, and you're not allowed to say the word, definitely none of those, and certainly not none of them. <laughs> what about. Don't, that's absolutely filthy. Hope you can't put this video out now. That way, guys. Let's focus on the work, huh? I've well, just. Uh... Oh, traffic. Traffic. <laughs> These eagles. Shut up. I'm filming. If you click on the left icon, you can subscribe to Living the Sky Life. If you click on the right icon, it'll take you back to our very first episode.